Hey everyone, Jamie here from technicalcafe.com. Welcome to your 12th HTML tutorial. In the last tutorial, we learned how to make unordered lists in HTML. Um, and basically what an unordered list is, is a list that displays items using bullets rather than numbers. So in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about how to make ordered lists, which is just the opposite. It's displaying items on the list using numbers like we have right here. Um, and just so you know the vacation items, like in the last tutorial, it isn't actually a part of the list. It's just um, a hit or three. Um, tags with the vacation items text in between them um, just to show you what the list is about. So the list I created here is some things you might want to bring with you when you're going on vacation. Um, so the first thing we have is papers like your passport, stuff like that, suitcases, toiletries, accessories, and entertainment. And you'll see why I chose those things later because we're going to learn how to nest uh, ordered lists. So what we're going to want to do is come in here and take a look at the code. And it's actually not much different than the unordered list code. Um, other than the fact that we have one tag that's different. So let's erase everything and start over. So we're going to start by creating our HTML tags. And we'll create our header tags. And in between those, our title. And we're going to call this ordered lists. All right, and we'll add our body. All right, so now let's get to work on creating our list. The first thing we're going to want to do for, for creating our list is going to be um, just provide a title to tell us what the list is about. Um, technically, you don't have to do this, but just in order so your users know what you're actually listing, unless you mentioned it before, um, I'd kind of suggest you put a title in there. Um, but again, it's up to you. So in our title, we're going to use H3 tags, um, which is somewhere in the middle of the headers. That's not the biggest. It's not the smallest. Um, and we're going to call this vacation items. And when we refresh this, we'll come on back over to our web page, and you'll notice that all we have here is our title. So if we come on over here, here's where we're going to actually make the list itself. So the tags that we're going to be using for an ordered list are OL tags, and that just means ordered list, obviously. So um, basically, like every other HTML tag we're going to be using, or most other HTML tags, um, the ordered list tags have an opening tag and a closing tag. And whatever goes in between the two tags is, are going to be the items within the list. So in order to make this more organized, what we're going to do is I'm going to take this closing tag and move it down a little bit. That way it looks more like a list would look if you're writing it down. Um, just one item after another, one on top, one on the bottom. So uh, it doesn't just look like it's all side by side, which might get a little confusing. So in order to add an item to our list, let me just refresh this here and show you what it looks like now. There's actually nothing on the page, but if we view our page source, you're going to notice that we have the two ordered list tags on the page. So the browser is reading that there is a list, but there's nothing on the list for it to display. So if we come back into our, our code here, um, in order to add an item to the list, we just use the li tag. And every li tag is going to need a closing tag. Um, so it's, it's not too confusing. It's just ol followed by li tags. Um, just don't forget to close the tags off. So li stands for list item. In every list item you're going to you're going to want to have, it's going to need to have H, uh, li tags. So what we're going to do is add our first item, and we'll call this papers slash documents. All right. So if we take save this, come over here and refresh, you'll notice that our first item is papers slash documents. But unlike in our unordered list tutorial, you'll notice that we have a number here, and now that's added automatically because this is an ordered list. And ordered means basically just one after the other. So one, two, three, four, five, etc. Um, unordered lists don't have numbers. Um, it's just basically everything's unordered. So um, ordered lists, uh, you can use it for whatever if you're denoting importance or just want to list things one after another using numbers. Um, it's totally up to you. So um, let's just go on and add another list item here. And we'll call this suitcase. And if we save this and come over and refresh, you'll notice that we have our second item on the list, which is suitcase. So in keeping with the theme of vacation items, if we come on down, we'll add another thing. And we'll call it uh, entertainment. And we'll refresh, come on over. And you'll notice that we have entertainment on the list. So if we view our page source again, you'll notice that we do have a list here. And it looks just like the source that we have in our Notepad++ um, plus plus application. So we have our list item. We have our ordered list. We're telling the browser, you know, let's start an ordered list. And then we're telling it these are the items that we have on our list. And you'll notice though that over here in our web page, with our source code next to it, that there are numbers next to the, to the list items, but in here there's not. That's because the ordered list automatically puts the numbers between, um, or rather in front of your 
uh, list items. So if we come on over here back to Notepad++, uh, we'll continue adding some items. We'll say accessories. All right, and I will just leave it at four items for right now. So this is our list, complete list of things that we're going to bring with us on vacation. So in the last tutorial, if you watched it on unordered lists, we learned how to nest lists, and that's putting um, a list with inside a list inside of a list item. So that might be important if you want to list what kind of papers you're going to bring with you. So um, let's just come on over here, and I'll show you how to do that. So basically, we're going to be creating another whole list within this list item. So in order to do that, we just use our ol tag, and we got to include another ol tag because it's a whole separate list. Um, so let's start off by adding our first list item, and it's just like creating a separate list, but it's inside of another list. So it might get confusing with all these tags here, um, but as long as you just follow the basic list structure, it should be okay. So our first list item, we'll say passport, assuming you're going on an out-of-country trip. So if we save this and come on over, you'll notice that we nested the passport list within our uh, paper slash documents list item. So this is essentially, this is one list right here, and this is one list item right here. So this whole thing is one list item, whereas this whole thing is just a uh, list item, but doesn't have a separate list inside of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to create another list item within this list. So, And as you can see, again, it just, just kind of looks confusing. That's why I like to have the list, um, the list structure set up like you would normally write a list. So let's uh, do that after we add our second item, and we'll call this tickets. So you'll notice that now we have one list that says the first thing we're going to bring is paper slash documents, and then it's just going to list the documents we need, so passports and tickets. And this can be useful for a whole range of things, um, depending on what your need is, what your needs are. So um, again, this is just one list that's starting. Another list is starting inside of the list item. So uh, just let's just go back and we'll show you how to organize this and make it look like it's little uh, one list within another list. So as you notice here, we have our list item passport. Um, and this is the first list item within the second list. So what we're going to do is we're going to move this second list down, and we're going to actually hit the tab key or space it out. That way we can tell that it's within the uh, first list. So we'll all do that for the list item here. For the second list item, we'll do the same, and we'll close that off. So you can tell now that it's actually a nested list because you can see that it's these items over here are a part of this uh, list item. So we'll just do this as well. Okay, this way you can tell um, that this is one big list, and you can actually move that down too if you want to and nest it over. So you can tell that this is one list item here. We can actually bump that over. And anything that's in this list item is a part of it, including the other list that we have. Uh, it might seem confusing, but once you get doing it a couple times, um, it's, it's, not, it's not so bad. So we have our list item in our list. This is the original list item, and inside of the list item is a list. Sorry to sound so repetitive, but it's just uh, kind of reiterating uh, what to do to create a, a nested ordered list. So you can keep nesting the list if you wanted to, um, but it's just going to get more and more confusing. So let's create another nested list within the uh, accessories category. So to do that, we'll just come down here, open up a bit of a space, and we'll say OL to create another ordered list, and we'll close it off. And this time I'm nesting it from the start, so it looks a little bit better. So we'll create our list item here, and we'll say cell phone for one list item, and we'll come over here and take a look. And you'll notice that our accessories are cell phone. And you'll also notice that it starts off back at one, and that's obviously because we have a sec second list going within this list item. So uh, let's add a couple more accessories. We'll say keys. and we'll say phone numbers. So here you go. This is um, basically how you create ordered lists and how to nest them within one another uh, in case you just want to elaborate on some of your list items. Um, sorry if it sounded kind of confusing, but once you get, a, get the hang of actually writing it in HTML, um, it, it isn't so bad. So if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. You can also tweet me. I'm twitter.com slash jamiemcg. Technical Cafe is also on Twitter, and you can also send an email to me using the Technical Cafe comment, um, or contact page, rather. Um, so feel free to let me know what you think, if, um, any suggestions to improve the tutorials, any tutorials you want to see, um, and thanks for watching. Have a great day.